welcome to my youtube channel kadam academy i have number of videos on vibration and the dynamics of machinery dom videos related the theory and the numericals also and today's lecture i will clear you the dl numbers principle the use of dl numbers principle to find out the equation of motion in case of a pre undamped system and myself is prakash kadam the photo of dl number he is having very much great scientist and he is very poor he was poor during his childhood he has done the struggle of this life and developed the various principles which are useful to us and we have to study very sincerely so friend learning outcome of this uh, video for this dl number principle method we are going to understand different methods of finding equation motion in case of pre undamp system you can also calculate for the force and damp or the multiple degrees of freedom system by then principles <coughs> you can learn the use of this dl number principle to find the equation of motion using the a bd approach means the free body diagram approach step wise in case of a free and damp system friends we we'll start with the equation of motion in case of the free and damp system there are different methods are there first method is the equilibrium method or free body diagram approach method under this we are going to study the method based on the newton second law of motion and use of d number principle to find the equation of motion using the fpd approach this is the today's lecture we are going to study and the second method is based on the law of conservation of energy under this energy method and the relics method so we are going to study in different videos these four different videos are there please watch the videos to clear your concepts thank you use the d l numbers principle to find the equation of motion using the fpd approach here friends dosto <clears throat> in this method this method is based on the principle that when a system is in equilibrium kaun sa bhi system agar equilibrium mein hai what will happen the algebraic sum of all forces and moments on it must be zero how oh. डायनेमिक प्रॉब्लम और डायनेमिक कंडीशन इन टू दैटिक प्रॉब्लम और स्टैटिक कंडीशन बायिंग inertia this concept is used to get governing equation of the motion for any system we can find out the that equation of motion so this is the spring mass system simple system here the spring uh, when the spring is attached this mass what will happen this ultimately deflect that means the static deflection it will uh, unstretch when the without mass it is unstretch position here when we attach the mass it will stretch up to this position with the displacement delta okay this del is the displacement after this in this case what will have uh, spring force will be there k okay, del okay here is the mass with the weight w that is mg after that we are going to disturb that mass with the displacement here x distance displacement x distance so this is the dotted line where it is in equilibrium position mass is in equilibrium position after attaching the mass it is in equilibrium position that why this line is shown or here it is written static equilibrium position and when the disturbance uh, is given uh, with x distance displacement mass will move from this position to this position so it will move with the some velocity and some acceleration in this downward direction so d l number principle converts for this kind of this dynamic problem into static problem by adding the 
some inertia force. Here is the nothing inertia is shown to you. This concept is used to get the governing equation of this motion considering this FBD. FBD means what the free body diagram of, of the elementary spring mass system as shown in figure. Friend, this is the FBD diagram of the spring mass system. I drawn here is the mass, okay? And this is the displacement EX with the velocity X dot and the X triple dot. So friend here, M is the mass when it is moving due to this self weight mg that is the w here okay so spring force opposing force is the k into x plus delta st delta st means this del that is the self, uh, static deflection plus the x disturbance were applied the addition of this into spring stiffness the spring stiffness okay so what will happen here fbd is drawn here and these are the two external forces which are applied these external forces are already expected in newtons the second law of motion the accelerating forces plus is equal to the summation of all the external forces that was the case in case of the newton's law but in this case somewhat different what is that here is the already Static problem were converted dynamic into static problem by adding what inertia. This inertia is shown here. Ms double dot. It is in the same direction toward the spring force. Okay. This inertia force is opposing to the this mg means the weight or load applied. So friend here, as per the D. Allenberg's principle, a dynamic body means what the spring mass system is in dynamic. Because they are having mass acceleration or the velocity position, it will get changed, can be converted into static equilibrium problem. By using, in this case, the, considering the inertia force F is equal to Mx double dot. Here is the Mx double dot. Inertia force is considered, which is passing through the center of gravity of the body in the direction opposite to the acceleration. This acceleration is there, x double dot, and opposite to acceleration, they always there is a inertia force is in always opposite direction, and the magnitude will be equal, and the product of the mass and that acceleration m and this acceleration that is the mx double dot, and which is inertia force which is opposite to the acceleration. We already have studied this one, this diagram, and this is the FBD that is the actual D. Allenberg principle, and um, by using this FBD diagram, we can find out the equation of motion for the spring mass system. As per the DRMS principle, what is the this FBD diagram? The all summation inertia forces, summation of all inertia forces, whatever the forces, inertia forces are there, summation plus the summation of all the external forces is equal to zero. This is the statement. What is the statement? The element principle already covered dynamic problem. How? By using this uh, FBD diagram, we have understood the whatever the kind of the system, we have to simplify that system into uh, modify into FBD this diagram for that system for use of the D element principle. And we have to show all the inertia forces in the FBD and all the external forces on the FBD diagram. So we can easily generate this equation. So this is the simple equation. So it is easy to understood. To understood first this equation. Okay. So what is the in this equation? Mx, Mx double dot that is the inertia forces. How many inertia forces are here? Only one inertia force. And external forces are over here. K and mg and mg and k are the external forces so friend here return the k mg so here the sign convention uh, representation is there for downward all forces downward it will represent as negative here it is mg is in downward see this mg in downward so it is represented negative or all the forces which are represented upward these are the k x plus delta st and inside the bracket this is positive and this mx double dot is also in upward direction see 
why it is upward because uh, as per the dialogue principle it is the always in opposite direction inertia force and the what will we say in with same magnitude so this inertia force is positive and spring force is positive because they are upward direction and negative is the minus mg that is the weight okay according to the sign convention it is written and just simplified that equation mx double dot is equal to mg minus kx here where this shifted this mg to the side on right side of this equation and written here like this as we know since this mg is equal to k delta st as per this that last diagram okay. the mx double dot will be will uh, this equation becomes what will the remaining mg is equal to k delta st so in this case k delta st and mg will get cancel and remaining will the mx double dot is equal to minus kx and here this equation when we compare with this equation of the shm that was the x double dot plus omega square x which is equal to zero so it is clear that the equation represent the simple harmonic motion because this equation uh, we have derived from the dr number principle the mx double dot is equal to minus kx we can write like this also the x double dot plus k by m into uh, x is equal to zero so here this coefficient here omega square and this k by m becomes the same by just comparing these two equations okay this equation and this one so omega square is equal to k by m we can write okay or thus the we can say d alumber principle gives the similar result as compared to the newton second law motion results appear so and what we learn here so you can find out the top 3 takeaways of my most significant learning from this video and friends you always learn by self assessment only and thank you very much for watching my video full video and it will clear you concepts to calculate the equation of motion by using d alumber's principle in more videos for the energy method and friend if you are not subscribe my channel kadam academy please subscribe it thank you